I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to test for even or odd function. Now we could have graph to decide whether the function is even or odd or we could have an equation right so these are two different possibilities and we'll take both of them one by one with the help of few examples. So I'm just sketching few graphs here let me sketch two first for you and then you need to figure out whether they represent an even function or an odd function, right? So, so the graph for me here is kind of like this. Okay, and in this case, I'm sketching a graph of a function which is kind of like this. Now, you need to decide whether these functions are even or odd. Now here, it is not a very accurate graph, but it seems as if y-axis is the line of symmetry and all these points are symmetric. Let me label this point as, let us say, minus 2 and this as 2, just, just to give it more. And let this be 1.5. Okay, in that case, we are sure that there is a point which is symmetric about y-axis on this particular graph, right? So, we can say this particular graph is symmetric about y-axis, correct. So, since it is symmetric about y-axis, this happens to be an even function. Is it okay? Now, here, line of symmetry is not y-axis. It is somewhere parallel to y-axis. Let us say this is at minus 1. So this function becomes neither. So if a graph is given, you can find the type of symmetry. Correct? Let me sketch two more functions and then you may decide whether they are even or odd. Right? So one function could be kind of like this. Okay? So this is a reciprocal function. y equals to 1 over x. Now what kind of function do you think this is? And how about a function which is kind of like this? So here is a cubic function. So let me write some points just to help you out. Let's say this point is minus 2, this is 2. And here this maximum is at minus 1, this one is at 1. And it's going through the origin. And this is, we are saying, graph of 1 over x. Now decide what type of symmetry is there and whether they are even, odd, or neither. You will notice that in both these functions we have a rotational symmetry. So if I draw a line like this, there are points which are symmetrically placed. Do you see that? So whether I draw like this or like this, there is a rotational symmetry. Do you see that? This line also. Since there is a rotational symmetry about the origin, these functions are odd functions, right? So these are odd functions. Since they have rotational symmetry. And this is symmetry about origin, right? So it is about origin. So that is how from a graph you can make out whether a function is even, odd or neither. Now let me give you a few equations and then we'll decide how to test and figure out whether a function is odd or even. So if I write just y equals to x square, we know it's a even function. And if I add another even function to it, for example, x to the power of 4, it remains even. Even if I add 1, it still remains even. But how to test? Test is to replace x with minus x and find what is f of minus x. So let us replace x with minus x and calculate. This is just 1. Now positive, it, they all become positive when even powers are there, the negative becomes positive. So you'll get this, right? And this indeed is equals to f of x, correct? Since f of x is equals to f of minus x is same as f of x, it's an even function. So what we get is f of minus x is equal to f of x and therefore the function is even, right? Now let me give you example of an odd function. So let's say another function f of x, x to the power of 5, it could be anything here, right? 
minus let's say x cube uh, plus x now here all these terms you know are odd terms so when you have combination of odd terms together you could add even sin x for example in that case you find that the function remains as an odd function how to test it out find f of minus x so that is uh, replace x with minus x and then evaluate right or simplify your expression so what do you get you get something like this and odd powers make it negative so it could be written as minus 2x to the power of 5 minus minus becomes plus x cube minus plus becomes minus x and sine of minus x is minus sine x so it becomes minus sine x now we can take negative common and what do we get we get 2x cube uh, 2x to the power of 5 minus x cube plus x plus sine x right this is exactly same as f of x with a negative sign so we could write this as minus of f of x since f of minus x is minus of f of x this function is odd you're absolutely right so since f of minus x is equals to minus of f of x the function is odd right odd function do you see that so that is how algebraically we can test whether a function is even or odd remember in any equation if i combine odd and even terms then the function will be neither here is a function for you to test so here i'm combining odd and even terms let us say we have 2x square plus x minus 1 test whether this function is even or odd that is an exercise for you i hope this exercise helps you to understand how to test for even and odd functions. Thank you and all the best.